Contamination of Homes with Methamphetamine. Is wipe sampling adequate to determine risk? By Jackie Wright, Stuart Walker and Kirsten Roth. Contamination of domestic dwellings from methamphetamine cooking or smoking is an increasing public health problem in many countries. To evaluate the extent of contamination, sampling generally focuses on collection of surface wipe samples from walls or other surfaces of a potentially contaminated home. Here we report the contamination levels of many household materials and items sampled from a home that was suspected to be used to cook methamphetamine, then sold, lived in for several years by the new owners and then left unattended for several more years. Although the time since cooking had taken place was significant, over five years, the levels of contamination were extremely high in both household items that were part of the house when cooking was taking place, so blinds, carpets and walls, and also in articles that were brought into the house post-cooking, rugs, toys, beds, etc. Both wipe sampling and analysis of bulk samples indicate that the methamphetamine is not breaking down or being removed and is transferred from contaminated to non-contaminated objects. These results raise questions about the adequacy of characterising contamination and making decisions about the extent of remediation required based on just surface wipe samples. Without fully understanding the extent of contamination that is present, not only on surfaces but within building materials, it's often difficult to ensure that the correct and most effective remedial approaches are taken to appropriately access and address the risk to inhabitants.